Hey there, I just want to thank you all for the tips and links to other places to get uh, 70s to 90s commercials. Um, I'd been using a lot of the ones from uh, 80s Commercial Vault for a long time uh, in, in a lot of my videos. That's where most of them have come from is 80s Commercial Vault. But I've been finding that they have... Uh, there seems to be... It's like it's coming from the same channel and the same kind of shows and I was starting to kind of see some repeats and also just there's a whole slew of, of, of demographics that the commercials that were geared towards them were not really anything I could uh, poke fun at. I couldn't, you know, make very entertaining. And you're just like, oh, it's just, it's just a commercial, nothing that... I mean, there's some that really stand out, but then all I would be doing is showing the commercial itself. So something that I can, you know, banter with, so to speak, um, I was having a harder time finding. Now, there are a number of other places on YouTube where you can get these commercials, but here's what usually happens with them. One, they might contain a huge watermark. In order for, for me to remove it, I mean, I already do a little bit of cropping to do that uh, fade effect, but it's never quite enough to get rid of those watermarks. So I'd have to crop it even more, and it's just like, oh, well, then you're not going to be able to, to even tell sometimes what you're seeing. So <clears throat> then one of the other ones is the quality. I mean, some people, I'm like, why did you up? Why did you have to to make the compression ratio that horrible, where it looks like you just have squares all over the screen? Well, you know, squares lightening and darkening, and uh, it's just like really, <laughs> that's terrible looking. And then there's other ones where it's like, really, you're gonna upload a video at 10 to 15 frames a second, really. And you see all these comments, oh, thanks so much for uploading, which is nice that people are uploading that, but come on, 10 to 15 frames a second? Really? <laughs> so, and I, 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 there have been a few of the commercials that I've used that have been pre pretty bad quality. Um, God, what, what was that? Uh, chills and Thrills. That one was one of the worst for quality. Um... On that one, I was originally wanting to change the color to something that looked nasty. I wanted to change the tint, but it was such the, the compression was so bad that when you tried to change the uh, hue, you just saw this bright distortion everywhere. So um, I had to leave that one alone. Um, I wanted it to look like slime or something, you know. Let's make it green. <laughs> so. Um, but archive.org uh, seems to seems to be the best one for me for now as far as the, the links that people gave um, I'm not seeing the big watermark and I'm seeing a different assortment than I was on YouTube so I should have some more material to work with for now um I still want to do a lot of my own transfers. Um, I can be obsessive about the way they're transferred. Um, most of the the footage that that you get from video cassettes, most people did not have a hi-fi VHS at that time, so it's just the regular mono recordings. But just like on regular audio cassettes, you have the 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 analog audio track on VHS and the uh, if the heads aren't adjusted uh, on one VCR the same as the one that re recorded it well the sounds are all kind of muffled but then sometimes it's muffled and distorted it's like wow that's that's awful and most people don't bother I don't blame them for not wanting to bother doing this but you know taking off the the, the, the lid to the VCR and adjusting the heads for the analog uh, sound and uh, I want to do that when I uh, when I do these transfers and then also 
I'll be doing that at 60 frames a second. Most of the stuff is only 30. That that's the, the, the source material, but uh, even if you're being obsessive and looking at the uh, the white noise kind of it's that's always just a little bit there. Um, it has a different look when you when you view it in 60 versus 30. So I'm hoping to do a bunch of those. If I start to find a way to get a lot of of uh, VHS tapes, then I plan on starting another channel and uh, it, where it's just dedicated to uh, commercials and then I'll upload all the, the transfers that I make uh, to that and then a lot of those you'll definitely see in my Kizum's uh, mystery commercial theater series so um, but again thank you for the tips and the links especially archive.org that's 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 very helpful They're, they have so many there uh, they have over 300 so um, collections of videos so collections of commercials I should say so that's cool so again thank you and uh, and still, if if uh, any of you you know you have if you have a bunch of uh, uh, old VHS tapes that probably have some commercials on them, uh, let me know. Maybe we can work something out, or I could you know send you enough money that you could send the stuff off. So again, thank you very much.